I'll show you the beginning, like the home page. Okay. It said chapter 18 was the last chapter, but then it says I have topic goal zero to 55 topics due Sunday, this Sunday. So like so this coming weekend. 55 topics. But I don't know where the topics are because this is only this is what we didn't finish the other day okay yeah this is 18 this is 13 so i mean i did these three right here i started them and then the, this one's locked still and then there was a few that i emailed her about when she was like oh just finish them this week so i they'll count for points still but i just wasn't sure why it's saying 55. So once I finish these, I think I'll have a better idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully. Yeah, I think it's kind of weird how they have it set up because it's telling me I have 55, but I don't see the questions. So I'm not sure if it's because I haven't finished these ones. So I'm not entirely okay. sure on that. When When is your next like test? Um, it is, let me see. It opens, I think on Friday. So the 17th. Yeah, that sounds right. It's either the 17th or the 18th. Okay. So I'll have that Friday to the next Friday or either that Saturday to the next Saturday. Okay. So either the 17th to the 24th or 18th to the 25th. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's check out the explanation on this one. Okay. Let's take a picture of that. So it looks like they changed the log form. They simplified that exponent in front. They divided uh, times by one eighth divided by eight, and then go down a little bit there. And then just use the calculator. All right, those don't look too bad. Yeah. All right, so we got three. The x plus seven equal to eight. All right, is there any way that you could switch so you could see my screen that I'm writing? Yeah. yeah. There we go. All right, perfect. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna change it to this form first. It's gonna be log uh, three. Mm -hmm to the x minus or x plus seven power okay equal log eight so that's the very first thing i'm doing looking at that example i don't know if you want to write that down yeah and then i'm going to simplify this exponent they don't want that up there mm -hmm. so your next step is to bring that down in front where you have that as x plus seven in parentheses Okay, log. You're distributing. It's not really distribute. It's using the, the exponent of log rules where you, if, if you have a log with a base raised to an exponent, you could always bring that exponent out front right there. Oh, okay, okay. And then my next step, I'm going to divide by this log three right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to divide this side by log three, divide this side by log three, just like a little bit of algebra. And that gives me x plus 7 equals log base 8 divided by log base 3. Mm -hmm. And all I got to do is take away 7 right there. So minus 7. And I'm recording all this on Zoom too. We'll see if I could send you the Zoom recording or how that works. I'm not sure. Okay. But this gives me log 8. Log three minus seven right there. Mm -hmm. And then 
maybe you could use your calculator or I could use mine or to get yeah. this answer. And then whatever that is, you got to subtract seven right there. But do you see, hopefully you followed that work. So if you want to go back to that, Alex there. Uh, okay, wait, hold on one second. So change that to log three, x plus seven, log eight, bring that down, divide. It's on this, it's not like below it, right? It's on the same line. Yep, perfect. Okay. Minus seven. Yep. And then round your answer to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so it'd just be five point. Be careful, of negative 11. though. Negative five point eleven. Hopefully, okay. we did that one right. Negative five point yeah eleven. Oh yeah, good job. Okay. Okay, we have one more because I did miss one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's right. Do you wanna? Me to walk through this. Do you want to try it? Do you want to write it with me? Like, because we do like um, split yeah, I'll screen. Yeah, write right? it with you. Okay. Or I can look at your screen again. Let me see. Yeah, I can see your screen right now. So eleven minus four y equals four. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna log both those. So I'm gonna write that log eleven to the negative four y. Can you see my screen still? I could see you. I could see uh, your Alex screen really big. Okay. Yeah. And then my, I could see okay, my can... work up here in the corner. Okay. That's can fine. You, that can works. Can you see my work clearly? Yeah, I can. Oh, you can? Okay. Yeah. So I logged the 11 to the negative 4y power, and I'm going to log mm -hmm. the other side to get log 4. That okay. makes sense. I'll write that down for sure. And then your next step is, remember, they, they want you to bring that power down out front. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to write that as negative 4y. Okay. Log 11 equals log 4. Okay. And then to start to isolate for this y, divide both sides by log 11. That's where you get that part of the fraction and the answer. Okay. And you're left with negative 4y equals log 4 divided by log 11. And then right there, you're really, you're dividing both sides by negative 4, which is really the same as timesing the right side by negative 1 fourth. That's kind of weird looking. Okay. But those negative 4s will cancel. To get y by itself, yeah. Yep. So that final answer y by itself is going to be on your calculator log four on top. And on the bottom, it looks like you got negative four times log 11. I bet if you tried that, that would work good. Okay. Oops. And then that negative four has got to be on the bottom somehow. Yeah. There you go. Negative four log 11. Okay, log four. Okay. Try that. So it's round to the nearest hundred. So it's negative 0 0.14. There you go. Hopefully. If not, we'll do a little minor change. Okay. All right. Wait, let me move this really quick. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's not showing me what I have, but. Uh oh, these ones. <clears throat> Do you want me to go to the explanation? Yeah, if you could. Looks like you got one right though, good job. 
Yeah. So A, I think these are the ones where you're just plugging in the numbers, right? Yeah, let me double check. Yeah. All right, so you got 497, that's A to the zero. You got E, which is E, you got the rate as a percent. Mm -hmm. It looks like if it's decay, R is negative. If it's growth, R is positive. Are you seeing that right there? The percent? Yeah. So you can't just plug in 0. 0.17. You got to look at the words to see if it's growth or decay. Yeah. Okay. That's what it, are those kind of similar to the ones that we were having problems with? Like, I think so. I mean, if we like went the back wording, to those, you have to really look at the words. Yeah. Look at the words and what it's asking. Yeah. Cause if you plug in positive right there. Right. Yeah. That was on the knowledge check. That wasn't for homework. Okay. So these shouldn't be too bad. Okay. And then it's a 179.2 grams. Okay. I think I have a picture of this, but I'm just going to take a picture of it again anyway. Okay. All right, so you have your initial mass, what, 5,554. That's your A to the zero number. Um, it looks like it's decreasing, so negative 0.19. You got your number of days, which is three for T. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're ready to just use that, that formula right away if you want to get that calculator up. Yeah, that's great. So the first value is the initial mass, the 5,000 value. Times. And then you want to hit that E to the X button. And then that's uh, point, wait. Uh, so 19 Would that be point zero one nine? Yep, and then remember it's this is saying decay decreasing, so you gotta write that as a negative. Okay, so negative 0 0.19. And then that's zero, uh, that decimal's gotta go in front of the one there. So that zero's gotta be gone, yeah. Point. Okay, like that. I mean, you could put the zero on the other side of the decimal there and have that negative 0 0.19. Mm -hmm. And then you have times, uh, number of days, which is three. So it's got to be up there on top with that. You don't want to. Okay. It's got to be up there with the exponent. There you go. That should be it. I mean, those are pretty straightforward. Three. So okay, nearest so. tenth. Oh, careful. Is that the, oh, you did oh, oops. Good job. Did I write it wrong? Uh, to the nearest tenth, perfect. I was thinking hundredth, so good job. Oh, okay. Just I hate yeah. to miss these because of the rounding, but you're doing all good. good job. Okay. Okay, so this one is 94. This is increasing, so you don't want to write that as a negative. So just point one four. There you go. And then it looks like five days. Yeah, I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's pretty easy. Yeah, one more. Hopefully you'll get these on the test, those are easy. Yeah, I think. 
I think so because I remember having them on the knowledge check and then on the homework now too. Um, okay, so on a relative rate. Okay, so 17. Um, and then let's see. It's positive, I think. Yeah, yeah. it's increasing growth. And then six, so six hours, yeah. So thirty-seven point one. That should be good. Do you have any way? Do you see like the status of your fellow classmates and how they're doing? Like how many sections they've done or anything? No. No. No way. No. Which I've had classes that do it, but it's only by our ID number, so it doesn't like say their name. But we don't have any homework on Canvas. It's all on Alex. And I don't think I'd be able to see. Maybe that's something you, when you email your teacher again, just say, you know, how, how am I compared to my classmates? My, <laughs> yeah. my head behind? I don't know. Yeah. Otherwise. All right, um, what do we got next? Okay. Okay, multiply upon the only charge of 6,500 years. Okay. So compound interest, that's the A equal, or that's interest. Let me look at the explanation. Really okay. Quick. Yeah. Compound interest, not too bad. Yeah, these ones. They're, it's the same oh, as what right. we just did. Okay. I think. 2% time nine years. All right, that's pretty easy. Plugged it in. And then it looks like you had to do a little bit of algebra to solve for P. Yeah. So it's not too bad. Or P is the amount of time or the initial principal amount. All right, not too bad. In 14 years, how much money should they invest now? So that's another one solving for P. So do you want me to show you on paper how I'd set this up? Yeah, I can see your screen. Okay, so I got that A number, uh, A the amount at the time of the final so that would be 8,500 right there. Do you see that? Yeah. Equal to the P number, that's the variable we're solving for. E is the E number on your calculator, and then it looks like the percentage rate 0 0.085, mm -hmm. and then that number up there, up high in the exponent spot times 14 right there. Yeah, 14. So technically, to solve for that P right there, I'm just going to take this whole mess and divide by E to the 0 0.085 times 14. Okay. And even though it looks complex, that gets rid of all that stuff on the right and just gives you P all by itself. And it's just going to be up to you on your calculator to Type in that 8,500, and on the bottom, make sure you have that E exponent button raised to the 0 0.85 power times 14. Okay. That's going to be how you type that in, but that's a little bit of algebra right there, rearranging that for P. Okay. Like that example. Let me type it so in. Hopefully that works.
So, so two thousand eighty-five round to the nearest cent. So it'd be nine point nine. No, I think nearest cent would just be eighty-eight cents because you round into the hundredth. So yeah, I think okay. that's it. All right. Okay. All right, so we got another one of those. So this, okay. So P, if I just already rearrange this answer for P, because I know what it's going to be, mm -hmm. it's going to be that 3,000 yeah. on top. Divided by E raised to Oh, so you don't even the, have to do the first part, really. No, I mean, because you know the algebra is going to be the exact same because you're solving for the same variable there. Yeah. So okay. I, I'm just plugging in the different numbers for this one. And then so the... It's 0 0.05. 0 0.05 times... Seven. Seven. Seven years. There you go. So that should be... Okay. That should get to you. So this one's 2,114.06. There you go. Okay. When would you round? You got a comma in there. When would if, you round though, if it says round to the nearest cent, when would you? If that would have been like uh, 0 0.065, that would have rounded that cent up to 0 0.07. Okay. You see that? Yeah. That's, yeah, because you're you're rounding to the hundredth spot, so you're looking at the number just to the right of it. That's that's the only way that would re that cent number go up. All right, so you could just start plugging these numbers in already. You got your six thousand there. Let me see. Okay. Okay. So six thousand times. Uh, Point zero two five. Yep. Read the passage carefully and answer the questions. Read the passage times eight. Yeah. Read the passage carefully. Okay, so four nine one two. Okay. So it's gonna be like this. And that eight. one still doesn't round it. That would have been three eight five. That would have rounded to thirty nine cents. But it okay. Did. All right, that should take care of this section. Okay. Oops, hold on, let me move my screen really quick. These ones I don't think I've done. Yeah, these ones were the ones that were locked. But it looks like it's the same. So let's take a picture of this. All right, so using the more complex formula. So you got your principal, deposit, your final amount. You got your percentage rate. You got your number of times it's compounded each year. All right, that's not too bad. Do you want to scroll down a little bit there? So plugging those numbers in. Oh, and then you had to solve for T there by making it a log problem. Okay. Let me take a picture of that. Oh, okay, so these ones are a little bit different. So you log, turn into a log problem, did that exponent rule, divided the log parts times mm -hmm. by one fourth there. All right, so I'll show you the math on these for sure. Okay. All right, so we're finding how long solving for T using, see right there, we go. 
So A equals P one plus R over N. So I'm gonna plug in all my numbers and solve for that T right there. Mm -hmm. So A is the final amount. So that's the seven, oh no, 32,000, that goes there. So three, okay. two, three, one, two, replace that A number. That P is the original investment, that 7,000 goes right here, where that okay. P used to be. And then you got that one plus the percentage rate, 0 0.08, and then compounded semi-annually, that's twice. And then up here, 2T. I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah. You can? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense where I got all those numbers? Yeah. And the 2 is just from twice a year again? Yeah, semi-annually. Okay. So now my next math is the do all, simplify all that, and get it in a form where I could start to solve for that T right there. So I'm going to write this as... Three two three one two seven thousand. I'm gonna add that maybe you can use that calculator on your part. So do you one plus So yeah, one plus 0 0.08 divided by two. Perfect. And then take that answer times 7,000, see what you get. You got that? Yeah. So my my final part I'm going to start to solve is 32312 equals 7280 to the 2t power. Can you see that? Yeah. And then that's where I'm going to make it into a log. If you want, whatever you want me to do, slow down, fast up, whatever. Okay. So that turns into log three two three one two equals log seven two eight zero to the two t power going to bring that two t power down to the front so that would be log three two three one two equals two t log seven two eight zero okay I'm gonna do a little bit of algebra there and divide both sides by log seven two eight zero. Which will cancel all that stuff away. And then I'm gonna maybe in, in one step I'm gonna divide by two right there in one step so I can do all that at once. Hopefully you can see that there. Yeah. So my final answer for T, you're gonna have to on your calculator type in log three, two, three, one, two on top, and then divided by two out front, log seven, two, eight, zero. That should give you that answer there. Log three, two, three, one, two. Okay, zero. Um, let me see. And round your answer to the nearest hundred. Okay, so it's going to be 0 0.58. Yes. Yeah, that doesn't look right, but can you type that in your calculator again just one more time? Yeah. Let's see what you did. Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't be over a year. So log. Three, two, three, one, two. 
divided by two log seven two eight zero. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Point five eight cross fingers. Okay, hold on. Let's just check the seven thousand part. Let's see, seven thousand okay. times one plus. Point zero eight divided by two. Seven two eight zero. Three two three one two. Do not do any intermediate computations. So maybe uh, let's go back to your calculator there. And let's, let's try this. Do a log three, two, and you're gonna make this a fraction, right? So log three, two, three, one, two. Now on the bottom, let's go log, I'm sorry, two. Put that two up, log. And then in parentheses type 7,000. Let's see. That's not quite right either. You had to finish that up. Um, why don't you just go to the explanation? Let's see what they did. Because okay. we're close, but it has to do something with their rounding, I think. Okay, we got that. All right, let's see here. Oh, I see what they did. They divided by 7,000 first. And then they logged. Oh, I see what they did. Huh. We still should have got the same answer. All right. Like a 19. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I see what they did. So we're going to do that that way next time for sure. Okay. Okay, let's get a blank piece of paper. So this one I have my 3,000, 3,580 equal to 2,000 times one plus 0 0.108. This is compounded monthly, so that's 12 for N, and then 12T. Can you see that? Yeah. So I'm gonna divide both sides by 2,000 like I should have on that first one. Mm -hmm. And then 3,500 divided by 2,000. Let's see, 35 is 1.79. Uh, 1 plus 1.08 divided by 12. I'm going to do that on my calculator. Looks like that gives me uh, one. Ooh, man. Do not round. That gives me a weird number. 1.006. Man, that's small. So I, when I did that part of my calculator, it gave me this real small number. Uh -huh. So it's making me almost think 
actually write it just like this. Okay. So I'm gonna log this. I'm gonna log this over here. Now I'm gonna bring that 12T out front. I'm gonna solve that for T, so I'm gonna divide all of this 12 and then one plus 0 0.108. Oh, wait, wait. So this part is 12, 12 log in parentheses 1 plus 0 0.108 over 12. Okay. So my final answer for T. You're going to have to hopefully type that in. Yeah. Log 1.79 divided by 12 log in parentheses 1 plus 0 0.108 divided by 12. <laughs> well, you do have double parentheses in there, so you're almost there. Oh my gosh. I don't you got know. it? Yeah. So log. 1.79, bottom you have 12, log one plus, open up a parenthesis inside there. Ooh, perfect, yeah. Point. Is it point 0.108, yeah. Yep. And then divide by 12, okay. Rhetorical? Hey, yeah. So 5.415. And then four, round it to the nearest four hundred. Two. There you go. That should be good. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, these are messy. <laughs> I put a core structure in. Right? All right. So it looks like I'm going to take that. Seven two two five. This I'm gonna divide that by five thousand right away because I know that's what I'm gonna do, mm -hmm. and that's gonna equal in parentheses one plus point zero four. Uh, quarterly is four, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna take this equation, hopefully you're seeing, I, I took that step where I had the 5,000 here and I already divided it out because I know that's what I'm gonna do. So now if I do 7,225 divided by 5,000, that's 1.445. I'm gonna see if this number is a nice neat number so I don't have to write it so complex in that formula. Mm -hmm. 0 0.04 divided by four. You don't have to use the mouse. So that gave me 1.01, .01, which is way more manageable. Okay. So that's, I'm gonna use that number because it's way easier than typing in all that mess. Okay. If this would have been a weird number, I would have stuck to that like we did the last one. Mm -hmm. So now and I have, added, uh, yep, for sure. I'm sorry, interrupt you. That was okay. So this is log 1.445 equals 4t log 1.01. Okay. Where I, I in one step log this and brought that exponent down to the front. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm going to divide 
both sides by four log 1.01. Mm -hmm. So your final answer for T shouldn't be that hard to type in log 1.445. Divided by four out front log one point zero one. Okay. So nine point two five. Yep. Okay. All right, one more of these. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so, so what do you think? Take a shot at it. I'm gonna done exactly the same way. So okay, let me two thousand more investment. Okay, so you're gonna put two thousand. So that's your initial. So in that formula we've been using, that is your A number, I believe. Yeah, 2,000. Yes. And then 3,000. No, I'm sorry. Is... The A number is the P. Oh, so three. No, you're right. The A number is the 3,000 and the P number is the 2,000. Okay. Go. So what do you got? You can try that. Yeah. And then the rate, so it's going to be 5.6 divided by. Compounded, so, oh, divided by two. Yep. And then you take picture of that, send that to me, what you just did right there. Yeah. I want to see. So I have the one point, I mean the one plus 5.6 divided by two. Oops. So then I would do 5.6 divided by two. Let's see. And then be careful, 5.6 is, oh, you have to change that to a decimal. So 0 0.056. Okay. Let me fix that really quick. 0 0.056, okay. So 0 0.056 divided by two. And that gives me 0 0.28, 0 0.028. And then what are you doing from there? Um, Does the, the very initial equation I get from plugging all those numbers in is yeah. it's, it's 3,026 equals 2,000 times one. Did you get this? You see that up there? Yeah. And then this is your A number, this is your P number. You yeah. you did this math, right? What'd you get for that? One because I'd add the one to it, right? So it's yep. one point two eight. One point two eight. Yeah. And then right there, maybe I'm gonna divide both sides by two thousand right there. Cause I want to get rid of that two thousand. Okay. So, so 3,000. I'm going to write what you have at this point. You got 1.28. Did you put to the 2t power? Did you get that part of the formula? Yeah. Okay. 
And then 3,026 divided by 2,000 is 1.513, but I, wouldn't you just put 1.51? I would use all those numbers. Oh, 1.513 then? 1.513? Yeah. Good job. And then, what do you do from there? Because you got to know how to solve one of these for sure. Solving that yeah. for T. Um, then. You want to start to make it go log you have to, problem. Oh, yeah. So you're going to do log. You're going to divide log 1.513 divided by 2 right. log. Right, you put it in yep. front. That's good. Yep. Divided by two log. One point two eight. There you go. Okay. That will skip straight to your answer for sure. Okay. Let me take this. Oops. Uh, that looks pretty low. Yeah, I don't know. Let me let me double check that map you got on the inside there. So one. Plus point zero five six divided by two. Oh, that uh, that was one point. You're right. One point zero two eight. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Yeah, not one point two eight. That was my mistake. So redo that calculation there. Okay, long. So it's just like that, right? Yeah. Okay. There you so go. It's seven good. point fifty. Yep. Okay. Good job. Okay, so these ones are Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, yucky. Not too bad though. Let's take a okay. shot. As the water cools, its temperature decreases. So let's see. So C we're asked to find t, the time when c of t equals 20. So plug in the 20 for c of t. We got 9, we got 15. That percentage rate. Um, let's see. I guess that's just part of the formula there. You don't have to figure that out. And then scroll down a little bit. And then it looks like you. Take away that nine on both sides, a little bit of algebra. Divide by that 15, and then go down a little bit. And then natural log rule. So when you have that little E exponent, you don't use the regular log, you use the natural log, the LM button. LM. All right, should be able to get these. Okay. So it's just pretty much plugging in the number they give you and then solving algebraically for T and then using the natural log button. Okay. We got it. Okay, so three 
is the number I'm going to put right here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you can see that, three. Mm -hmm. And then you have 20 e to the negative 0 0.55h. And I'm solving that for h right there. So my first step, I'm going to get rid of that 20. I'm going to divide both sides by 20. Mm -hmm. And that gives me 3 over 20 equals e to the negative 0 0.55h. And then according to that problem there, now I'm going to use the natural log button. I'm going to write this as ln 3 over 20 equals ln e to the negative 0 0.55h. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And then by definition, this is going to go away. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to write that as ln 3 over 20 equals negative 0, I'm sorry, 0 0.55h. So now my last step is to divide both sides by 0.55 negative. And now on your calculator, that's going to be h is natural log 3 over 20 on top divided by on bottom negative 0.55. Good luck typing that in. So it's Three over 20. Good job. Look, you're getting good at that. Yeah. It just takes some practice because if you mess up once, you have to just delete the whole thing. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so it's negative 0.55. Okay. So three. So around your answer to the nearest tenth. So it's going to be just 3.4. 3.4, yep. Okay. okay. Suppose that the velocity in meters. Okay, so this is some line. So 61 goes here, right? Yeah. Equal to 74 minus 74 e to the negative 0. 0.22 t. Yeah. All I did was I put that 61 right there. And then I'm going to take away this 74, this whole number. Mm hmm by subtracting 74 on both sides. Okay. 61, so yep, these cancel. 61 minus 74 gives me negative 13 right here. And over here I have negative 74 e to the negative 0 0.22 t. Mm -hmm. Divide by negative 74. I'm going to leave this fraction positive. You see that? And now I'm going to natural log this side, natural log this. Sorry, hold on one second. Someone okay. knocked on my door. I think right. it's a package, though. Give me one second. All right, I'll leave it. Okay.
And again, you, you could clearly see that work on your screen? Yeah. Okay. Because that will be part of the recorded video, hopefully. Okay. So after all that mess, that's another one that ended up being the natural log 1374. I got that by the algebra at the top. Yeah. Divided by negative 0.22. So it's 1370 over 74, okay. And then negative 0 0.22. Well, careful. Point. No? Yeah, that point's got to be. Oh, 0 0.22. There you go. Wait, 13 over 74, yeah. Okay. So it's 7. Point, let me see. So it's going to be just 7.9. Okay. Okay, so the number of bacteria in a certain population increases according to the following function. Okay. And again, we want, you want you uh, for this one, can you write this one on paper and show me what you've done? Yeah. Just so. So this one, H. P of H is that number they're giving you, 3,500. And you're solving. Yeah, okay. Exponent H. Okay. So 35 is the P number. P of H number, yep. P of H, okay. So it's going to be 3,500. E and then zero point zero eight H and then you're gonna take away You're not gonna take away there, you're gonna that's there's nothing to take away because there's no whole number there, you're just gonna divide. Okay, divide by twenty nine hundred? Yep. On both sides, yeah. So then that cancels out that. Okay. So when I divide 3,500 by 2,900, I get 1 1.20. So then I have 1.20 equals E to the zero point zero eight H. Good job. Okay. And now, do you remember what we did from there? We're using the natural log. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, you're dividing it, so it's going to be. Oh wait. Um. Because you're right there. Once you get to the point 1.2 equals e yeah. to the 0 0.08 h power, yeah. gotta know the math right there to use the logs. Um, do you divide 1.0 by 0 0.08? Do you remember how we use the log uh, to write this out first, though? That first step before we do any division. Um. I'm going to take the so natural log 1.2 and I'm going to take the natural log on this side too. So 0 0.08. And then do you remember what happens from there? You're dividing. Yep. Because this, when you take natural log of E, uh -huh. these pretty much <laughs> kind of cancel away. Okay. And leave you just this little part up here. So you're dividing yep. both sides by 0 0.08? Yep, because when those cancel away and you're left with natural log 1.2 equals to 0 0.08H, to solve mm -hmm. for that H right there, you're dividing by 0 0.08. Okay. So that's why you end up with this.
natural log of 1.20, which you got by dividing those yeah. two 3500s and that 2900 divided by 0 0.08. Oh, okay. So it's not going to be like the ones that we were doing earlier. It's a I little thought it was bit supposed easier. to be a fraction on the top. Okay. No, there's no fraction here because. Oh, you, you could have wrote it as a fraction, but use a nice neat okay. easy number. Two point three. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to here? Let me see what these ones are. If this one's short, we can. Did you get that one right? Yeah, I did. Let's knock it out. We got time for another couple sections, maybe. How much okay, you got, fine. India? That's fine. Yeah, I just didn't know if you needed to go or not. No, I'm pretty open there. Okay. Uh, that's I don't fine. know if we're hiking. We're oh, really? Yeah. We're, hiking. we're gonna do something. With... Yeah. We're gonna oh, do okay. something as a family, but we're not hiking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's look at this. What do we got here? Log. Okay, more log ones. So we break it down. Log x minus five times log three. All right, can you go up to the top a little bit? So they're using like weird math to condense that log problem and then using the log rule and solving for x. All yeah. right, those shouldn't be too bad. Those should be pretty easy. So they say, let's check it out. Okay. Okay. All right, so we have log, let's try this one, log nine, 20 equals log base nine, x minus eight, minus log base 9, 17. So my first step, I'm going to leave the left side alone. And I'm going to take that right, right side and do that weird where we condense those two parts right there. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. And then I'm going to distribute this. And that's going to give me log base 9, 20 equals log base 9 times 17x minus, let's see, 8 times 17, the minus 136 right there. And then since I'm pretty sure since these bases are the same right here. Yeah. I could just look at the top part. So I'm going to write that as 20 equals 17 X minus 136. And then right there, I'm going to add 136. Give me 156 equals 17 X. Mm -hmm. Divide by 17. Mm -hmm. 
and that gives me uh, just write that 156 over 17. You got that yeah. little fraction button there? Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Let's see. Let's see what we did wrong. Um, so seventeen x seventeen times eight negative one thirty six. Plus twenty one fifty six. Divided by seventeen. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let me click the explanation. All right, hold on. Before you do that, we need to check in with me. Yeah, you can get look at the explanation. I'm, I'm sure we're close. Let's see what happens. Oh, that was subtraction, not times. And that was my mistake. I see. So do you see right there, instead of taking x minus 8 times 17, it's x minus 8 divided by 17. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. Right here, right. yeah. I see. Okay. I understand what I did wrong. Okay. So you subtracted and multiplied. Yeah. And so, okay, I see what you did. Yeah, I, I looked at the log formula, that box that we've been using, trying to find yeah. right now. The log rules. Or if you're times in two logs, whether you're dividing two logs. Trying to find it here. <laughs> All right, I found it. I'm going to take a picture of this, send it to you. And you, you, you have this, but this is just, just trying to show you what I'm going to be using here. Okay. All right, this problem is way easier, though, because for this problem, all you have to do is, is drop the natural log there and solve 8x minus 1 equal to 6x plus 9. Okay. I hope you can see that math right there. So I'm going to add one right there to both sides. Stupid dog is barking. I'm going to take away 6x and divide by 2. I'm pretty sure that one's just going to be plain old 5 for that one. Okay. Okay, yeah. Piece of cake on that one. All right, now see how this one is adding there? Yeah. So that picture I sent you, I'm going to use that. That is the times in one, that top one. You see? Yeah. So when I write that, I'm going to leave that log X alone on the left. And on the right, I'm going to write that log. And on the inside there, I'm going to take that 5 times X plus 3 inside there. Okay. So it ends up being log X equals log uh, 5X plus 15. Since these logs are both log base 10 there, I believe, I'm just going to take the x in this. 
mm -hmm. and just write those without the log and solve for x right there. Okay. So if I take away 5x, that gives me negative 4x equals 15. Oh, because x is technically 1? Yep. Okay. Divide by negative 4. So negative 15, 4. Okay. Open. Oh, oh my god. negative in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry. That was my okay. fault. No. Hold on. All right. Go down. No solution. Okay. Oh my uh, gosh. It was negative 15 over 4. But oh, but you can't take log of a negative button. Log of a negative. So in no that. Solution. Okay. All right. So live and learn. Now we know. Okay. So if it's a negative, if it's no negative, solution. it's no solution. Yep. Okay. Now we know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. You ready? Let's get this yeah. one right. So this is going to be log four fourteen. This is subtraction, so it's going to be a division one, log 4x plus 7 over 3. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to just take those parts and solve those for x. So 14 equals x plus 7 over 3 times both sides by 3. Equals fifty-two. Take away seven. That gives you forty-six. Wait, 52 minus is 45. It is? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's okay. I was like, wait. That's, is my, it that's my weakness is my quick arithmetic. So 45. So it's 45. Yeah. yeah. What? All right, let's double check that again. 14. Uh, this is division x plus 3, x plus 7 over 3. Let's see. 3 times 14. Oh, that's right. 3 times 14 is 42. And then 42 minus 7, that's really 35. Oh, okay. Oops. Got to double check our arithmetic there. Okay. Yeah, that was it. No, I I should, probably should have double checked that too. I didn't even think about it. Okay, so this one you have natural log two equals natural log five x plus seven. That gives me two. All I'm doing is solving those two parts right there. Okay. And then take away seven both sides. Gives me negative five, and then I could see this is going to give me another negative answer. Okay, so it's no solution. So I believe that's going to be one of those no solution ones. No. Oh my gosh, what in the world? Is... That was definitely negative. Maybe you can natural log and negative. Why don't you type in a, a negative one, see what happens. So I it's guess, only no solution if it's a negative fraction? 
if it's if it's a plain log one, you can't have a negative. But if it's a natural log, a negative answer is okay. <laughs> That's weird. That's weird. Mm -hmm. But we're getting it. We're almost there. All right. Okay. So this one's gonna be log what? x minus what one times six equals log x. So that gives me six x minus six equals x. You're going to have to do the same thing in college. I'm going to add six. No, it's not. It's the same. Take away x. So I think six, six fifths. If I did that, not that it's six x minus six plus six. Would you leave it as a fraction? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just double check this. I don't want to go backwards. There's six x minus six x plus six minus x. That should be good. Six over five. Okay. You need to figure out how to add the numbers. Okay. There goes. Okay. Six over five. You need to find out what's going to, okay. you can, she can repeat what you missed today and if she's going to go over that again on Thursday. You can find out. Do you want any salad before Nathan, do you want any salad? All right, what do we got here? And it looks like we've got another formula. Yeah. Y is the amount at time. Let's see the picture of that. Y is the amount of time that you spend on the computer. All right. You can scroll down. You ready? Okay. Zero point five y of one half equals zero. Okay. Substituting y. Zero point five. All right. Hmm. <laughs> that looks complicated. Yeah. Hopefully the other ones are done exactly the same way, but sometimes they like to take you out. Can you go up a little bit? I'm gonna take one more picture there. Do you want the purple box or? No, down, down a little bit. Right there. Okay. All right, I want to give it a try. Yeah. Okay, a radioactive substance. Recording. Okay, so it decays, so it's negative. This or y is zero. T in days, half life. So we're gonna put point five for that y there. Okay. Wait, no. Wait, what did we do? Well, if this is done the same way, I'm going to write it like this. I'm going to write it point zero point five y to the zero equals y to the zero e to the negative zero point zero five. Four one five T. Mm -hmm. These are gonna cancel away. So all you're left with is solving point five equals e to the negative. 
and I'm gonna sure natural log this. Okay. And then that gives me just no, this to solve for. Yeah, so I have 0.5 equals okay. negative zero point zero four one five t divide by. You don't have anything else you can work on right now. No. That grant. Oh yeah, the grant. I'll do that. Getting on my son to write a grant. <laughs> <laughs> no, to get, it's a, to get a scholarship. Scholarship. There we go. Okay. Do I divide that and then? So let's see. This is calculator there on the yeah. right. Got that there. So how about 0.5 divided by that? Let's cross it. Okay, so negative 12 point oh. zero. Yeah. Starts tomorrow. Um, Sweet. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot more work to do. Negative 12, yeah, you negative 12.0, 12. right? Six hours a day. Mm, negative, that's not good to have a negative. Huh? Uh, what you got? I can try it again really quick. Hold on, let me see. I'm pretty sure I did it right. All right, try that. Type that in. Yeah, negative 12.0. All right, let's see where we went astray. So just go to explanation. Let's see. These are really weird. All right. Half-life, so I did that. Okay. You did that. Yeah, I so did. the half-life is 0.5, right? I did that, exactly. Good. Go down. I did natural log. It's that How in the world? Okay, wait. Zero point zero five. Oh, I see. Zero point five. Oh, I see. I, I just did point five. I didn't do the natural log of point five. I see. Oh, is that? I guess that's what I want. Okay. All right, we got it. Let's get this section done. Learn my lesson. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, this is after how many years will be doubled. So it's not going to be so it's just 0.5, it's going to be 2. Yeah. So I'm going to write this 2y0 equal y0 e to the 0.0175t. Yeah. These are going to cancel. Okay. I'm going to do natural log of 2, which will natural log of this. Zero point. Okay. I'm going to write it like this. How oh, about well, today's the what? 14th? No. I'm going to divide by this. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. So after all that, instead of just playing all two, it's natural log of two divided by 0 0.0175. Okay, 39.6. Got it. Okay. Look at that green. Okay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay for tricky. green boxes, no for 
red boxes. I know. I hate that they do that. They take away points. It's really well, important. These ones, remember how the other ones got us because I wasn't reading it? These ones, uh -huh. you got to really read. If it's half-life, you put 0.5. If it's double, you put two. So this is another double one. So I'm going to put two. Or does two. it say double? It says, how many years does it take for the size of the sample to double? Oh, okay, okay. So that's going to be 2y. Two 2y0 two yeah. zero equal y0 zero e to the 0.029t. So it's going to be natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.029. That's going to be t. Mm -hmm. So we could jump straight ahead to that if you want. Don't have to do any algebra there. Let's stand. I think you actually have to move. Like. Okay, so this one's going to be 23.9. Yeah, round to the nearest tenth. Okay. All right, half life. So I'm going to put 0. 0.5 there. 0. 0.5. Okay. So this is going to be natural log of 0. 0.5 divided by negative 0. 0.0528. Just okay. like that. Don't care about some 0.5 up there. Oops, sorry, I was looking at the right. Yeah, this I mean the left one. A double and it's a half. Yeah. There you go. Five, two, eight, yeah. So this is 13.1. Yeah. Okay. Knocking them out. Five topics left. Yeah, I don't. I don't know where they're getting these forty-eight from. I honestly have no idea. But that's super disappointing to post online, say we have no homework. What? And we still have homework. You said that. The teacher did? On, on Alex, she like linked, she had posted and said that once you get to three, or you should be at 300 topics by, what was Sunday, the 11th or 12th? Yeah. And, um, and that, that's pretty much it. But then it's telling me here that I do have more homework. And I looked at the syllabus today, and it says that we have 55 topics due this week. So I'm like, that's still homework. That's brutal. Yeah, I don't really. I don't All know. right. But I know I have to finish these, but I'm going to email her about the, the additional 55 because I don't see them, so I'm not entirely sure. But these ones I haven't finished. These are, this is homework from the last week. But um, yeah, I just don't really know where I'm supposed to find the 55 that I'm supposed to be doing, so. It's confusing. Yeah, it is. But, okay, these ones are the. These are pretty easy looking. Man, all these bacteria ones. <laughs> yeah, they like using these exponential formulas for sure. So I got that. If you want to scroll down a little bit, can you picture that. Ah, uh, easy. Okay. <laughs> and then, okay, four point two four. Okay.
Okay, so here we go. This is growth. So the percent is going to be uh, it's going to be positive. I'm going to write this as two six four six because I think that's the A number. The P mm -hmm. number is the two four zero zero, yeah. and then E, the percentage rate for this one. And then it's two years. So we don't know what R oh, is, Oh, compound right? and continuously, suppose, after two years. Yeah, okay. so this is, oops. So E to the R times two, is that right? Yeah, I think so, because it's two years. So let's write that two R. You can see that? Yeah. And I'm going to divide both sides by 2,400. Okay. I'm going to see if that number is nice and neat. Let's see. Two, six, four, six. It's 1.025. 1 1.1025. Equals e to the 2r. I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. And that gives me a natural log of 1.1025 1 equals 2r. Okay. Divide both sides by 2. And you'll get that percentage rate is a natural log of 1.1025 1 okay. divided by 2. Hopefully. And then what's what's your right? Your answer is a percent. So that moved twice to the right. So before. Point four eight eight wants you to round to two decimal. So four point four point eight eight percent. Hopefully. Yeah, round to the nearest hundred. Yeah. Four point. Yeah, that looks right. I hope so. Okay. The mass of a radioactive substance. Okay, this so this is, is half-life. Half-life. So these are back to that formula there. So this is 0.5 equals E to the negative point zero seven five seven five times T. Um, yeah, it doesn't have. Yeah. So it's going to be natural log of point five each or natural log of e to the negative 0 0.075 t that just gives me natural log of 0 0.5 equals 75 t divided by i think so if you get t the half-life will be the natural log of 0 0.5 divided yeah. by negative 0 0.075, I believe. Hopefully. Okay. Let me see. Oops. I don't know where my phone's going. Um, so that's this. 
0.5 so 9.24 oh, days okay one more So this one's a double one. So this one's two. Doubling. So it's going to be two. And then 6.9. So that's going to be. Equals oh. E. Is this growth? So that's going yeah, up, growth. right? So 0 0.069 T. Yeah. Which will be so. natural log of two divided by. So I can just plug this right in. Yep. Okay. So this one's 10.0. There you go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Crank them I out. Think, I think I'm done. Okay, Unless, I'm going to see yeah. how I could get you this recording because that would be okay. cool if you could go back. If you have, I'm sure you have like zero time, but if you had time to look back. Yeah, I can. Well, that would be helpful when I'm like stuck on other problems and then I can just kind of like look at those. Okay. But, I will um, see what it does to send you this video <laughs> okay and then venmo me for yeah not yesterday was it sunday saturday i already did we'll just do a little bit for today saturday wait you did, i don't think you venmo me for sunday yeah i did yeah we're all caught up i don't think so yeah it was that was like that 20 i gave you let me see i don't think i got it then Oh wait, no. Okay, so four twelve was Sunday. Okay, yep. so then just Venmo request me for today. All right. And then I'm gonna try to get these done. I'm gonna email my professor right now though, and just see what I'm supposed to be doing. Cause you see here it says sixteen topics left. Yes. I have no idea what sixteen topics it's talking about. Cause I only have four more topics know. of these ones. So all I, I know is based on what you've been doing, it looks like you have about 12 hours of, of assignments to do for this week. <laughs> yeah. So I started out with 15 hours and then so I did some yesterday. Yeah. I all right. Know. So I'm going to email her and then I'll let you know. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll all just right. let you know what she says. Good luck. All right. Thanks. See ya. All right. Bye. Bye.